So in this video here, we're going to take a look at the new Segment Anything 2 model, but also the mobile sign model. So this model can be used for segmenting anything in the image. We can both prompt it, have specific regions, but also just segment anything in the whole image. So this is really cool. We're going to use it for data annotations. If you want to have specific classes or we just want to segment anything. It can both be used on videos, individual images and so on. So let's just jump straight into it, see some examples and go through these two models. So we're now jump straight into the Autolytics documentation. Over here on the left, we can see all the members in the YOLO family, all the way from version three to version 10. Then we have the same model version one, and then we have the new SAM2, which is significantly better. And we also have a mobile version of the version one. And that model can run significantly faster compared to the other ones. We also have fast SAM, but mobile SAM here is the fastest. So right now, let's go down and take a look at SAM2. So the key features is basically just that it is very fast. It can do tracking as well. So it basically just combines updates and tracking if you use the demo on a video. But here we can see an example of this model here is segmenting out every single pixel in the whole frame. Again, you can specify the whole frame, you can specify prompt, specific region, and so on. So right now here, we can see that it segments out all the fishes here, each individual object and so on. So it's not just segmenting out the person, but each individual part of the person as well. But again, that depends on how you prompt it and also basically just want to segment it out. So we can read about the key features of real-time performance that is significantly faster compared to the version one. It has zero shot generalization and so on. So that's also very cool. If you take a look at it, you can go in and read about the model architecture, the core components with the image and video encoder. So this works very nice on videos as well and not just individual images because it basically just have this tracking module built into it as well. So the tracking mechanism is act like very good or they're using this memory mechanism, which is just feeding back the information of the tracked and the segmented objects back into the model again. If we scroll a bit further down, we can then see how we can install it. So just pip install Autolytics, and then we can see all the different things which are supported. So we have this tiny version, small, base, and large, depending on the inference speed that they want to run. And again, it's doing instant segmentation, segmenting out every single thing. So it can both be used in images and videos. And the task here supported is basically just inference. You can't do validation, training, or export the model. You can only run inference directly. If you scroll a bit further down, we can then see how to do the prediction examples. I'm going to open up the code editor in just a second and show you how we can run it on a live webcam. You can run it on a single image, video stream, RTBS stream, webcam, and so on on. So there's different ways we can segment it with prompts. So right now we can perform it with a bounding box prompt, but we can also prompt it with a point prompt. So let's say that you have your mouse, you choose a specific point and then you just segment out that specific object that you have pointed at. Could also be bounding boxes. So let's say that you're combining it with a YOLO v10 model or YOLO v8 model. Then we can get the bounding boxes from the YOLO model and then we can segment out anything inside that. But could also be that you have a region of interest that you only want to segment objects in. So we have that version and then we have segment everything, which is basically just going to take the whole image and segment every single pixel and basically just do that. It does a very good job at it. Very high quality segmentation mask, pretty much the best out there. And the model is also pretty fast. So if you compare it here with YOLO V8, we can go and see the size of the model, the main number of parameters and also speed on a CPU. So this is how many milliseconds it takes to process per image if you're running this on a CPU. So again, it is significantly faster if you're running it on a GPU. And if we just go ahead and take a look at the Autolytics YOLO V8 Nano model, which is the smallest model and also the fastest, it is over 1000 times faster compared to the other models. So it's actually like normally used as base models. And if you don't want real time computer vision models running in production, like 30 frames per second plus, we can use it for image annotations, some basic analysis, or just if you have individual images that you want to segment something in, those are some of the use cases these models can be used for. But normally you will take the base models, use that to auto label your data set. Then you take a smaller YOLO V8 model and train that on your data set. So you just go in and fine tune that and then it can run significantly faster and you will still get very high accuracy and performance. If you scroll a bit further down, we can then here see that we can run and profile it compared with the different models. We're also going to take a look at the mobile SAM in just a second. So you can go in and do the comparisons as well. You can also go in and do auto annotations you can just call this auto annotate, specify the model so we can do the detection model as I talked about before. So we can have our classes, 
from the objectification model and segment it out with our SAM model just to get our segmentation mask if we want to train specific instance segmentation models. Because it takes a long time to go in and do these annotations yourself, especially when we want to do image segmentation. Tracking stability, optic confusion, efficiency with multiple objects, detail accuracy and so on are some of the limitations. So let's go ahead and run it here. Let's just go up and grab this segment everything. Let's just copy it, both using Python and the command line. After we've been running this model here, it's very similar for mobile SAM. It is just faster and a different model. So let's now open up a code editor. I've just copied and pasted in here. Let's use the base model. And right now let's run here the source. So we'll set the source equal to zero. So it should just open up my webcam. We can also get the model info. We open a new terminal. There we go. Activate the content environment. And we can just run this Python script, sam.py. Now it will download the model automatically. It is going to do that the first time into your directory. 154 megabytes. So right now 50%. Once it's done, it's going to open up the webcam and do inference. There we go. We get our model summary. It's going to open up the webcam. I can see the dot up here and you can extract all the results. We just get our results generator where you can go in and extract each individual one from. So it might take some time here because again, it's just running on the CPU. We saw our inference speed inside the documentation. So it might take some time to be able to open that up, but I can see it has opened up my webcam. You can also just throw in individual images, but let's see if we get some results here. And then we can go in and take a look at the mobile SAM as well. I just forgot to add to the model here that so we act like need to sit show equal true because then we won't really see any outputs. So right now we should act like open up the window so we can see everything. I can see we have the window down at the bottom. We might just need to wait for the inference or the results from the first image. We can also specify if we want to save the frames and so on. All the arguments can be found inside the Autolytics documentation. So while it's doing the processing here on the CPU, let's go back and take a look at the mobile SAM. And again, this is significantly faster if you run it on the GPU. And often, like if you want to run these base models, it definitely needs to run on the GPU. So we also have this mobile SAM here, which can be used if you want to run faster. You won't get the same accuracy and results, but it can run significantly faster. We saw that in the comparison as well. So right now you can see all the benchmarks and comparisons with the original SAM and also mobile SAM. But again, don't use the original SAM, use the segment two model. It is both faster, but also significantly better. So here, original SAM, mobile SAM, we get some pretty good results, but again, it depends on what you're going to use it for. We can also just go in point prompted, box prompted, or basically just segment every single thing in the image. So right now, let's just go in and grab it, the Python example. Now we've got the results from the other one here. So again, we can see we get, it takes 45,000 milliseconds to run the inference results. I'm not sure why we can't see it in here. So instead of running it on the webcam on the CPU, we definitely need a GPU. Good to go and do that. Let's go in and run it on this image here instead. So we have worker and then we can run the mobile SAM on our webcam. So that should be significantly faster. We might be able to run that on a CPU. So right now let's go around and run this Python script in the background. So sam.py. There we go, now we run it and then we should be able to see the results in just a second. There we go, we can see that the results has been saved into run, segment, predict 10. Let's go inside our runs, segment, predict 10, and then we have our worker and now we should have all the results. So this is basically just going to combine object detection and also this segment anything. So here we can see that it does a pretty good job, even assigns labels to it. So you can use this for your data set. You can go in and prompt it with the specific areas and so on. So this is very nice. And you can see the very, very nice details around the segmentation mask. If we just zoom in here to the hat, it's just a few pixels which are off. And again, these are some pretty cool ones. So this is just for a single image. Let's now go in and take a look at the other model. For the mobile SAM model, let's also just go in and specify the worker. So we're going to do the comparison with mobile SAM and the SAM2 model. So that is the new one. So we have worker.png. I'm going to rerun the SAM.py script and then we should be able to see the results. This should be significantly faster compared to the SAM2 model, which took 45,000 milliseconds. So that's pretty long inference time. Again, you can speed up this significantly on a GPU. So now we can see that we have the results inside segment predict 13. Let's go and grab that one. 
and we have our worker. Now we can see that we get significantly more mask and also classes compared to the other one. So if we just take a look at them side by side, I'm just going to pull up the other one. So we have our predict worker, that one, and then we also have the other one here. So we can see with the mobile Sam, we get significantly more predictions. It might not be as accurate as we can see here, both for the helmet, but also the background, the segmentation mask are not really that accurate but it really depends on your applications and projects that you're doing. And also one of the advantages with the same model is that it has these tracking capabilities if you're using it on videos as well, where it has its advantages. But again, we can see here, let's go ahead and take a look at it, 30,000 milliseconds inference and so not that fast compared to the same model, like same two model again, but compared to the same model, it is significantly faster. So definitely going to test these models out if you want to have a model that can segment out anything. The Sam2 model is still pretty new and new models are coming out all the time. The models are becoming better, faster, and it can be used for different use cases, but use it as a base model, fine tune the custom Yolvi 8 models, which is significantly faster, smaller and so on. Like they can run several hundred frames per second on optimized hardware and frameworks. So go ahead and test it out, check it out in your own projects and applications, just play around with it, test out different video streams and so on. If you have a GPU available, go ahead and check it out there if you can run it in real time. And also check out the other videos that we have on the channel. And then I'll just see you guys in one of the upcoming videos. Until then, happy learning.